In December of 2023, I did a review of the Unify Express, and for $149, I still think it's a good deal for people looking for an all-in-one solution for basic home use. It's also my go-to answer for any of my non-tech friends asking what they should install to cover general purpose needs of getting online. I've been using this one ever since I did that review, and it's been part of my home network for the last six months, and well, it's worked really, really well. It is currently July of 2024, and Unify has released some new compact offerings. I want to discuss those, specifically the Cloud Gateway Max and where I think it fits into their new compact lineup. So uh, let's get started talking about that. Now, I want to start out by saying this is not a review of the Unified Cloud Gateway Max. I'm still testing it, but so far all my testing has gone really well, so that review will be coming soon. This is more about where it fits into the Unified ecosystem and which product you should buy because there's been a lot of questions that's popped up in the comments going, well, do I get the Cloud Gateway Ultra for $129 or the Cloud Gateway Max, which I know right now for $279 is the model available for one with 512 gigs, but you also have available August 23rd, $199 for a model that won't have any storage at all. I don't think the 512 one's bad, but the fact that they popped in a standard little MVME drive in there really expands the possibilities. And when you start looking at the comparisons of what you can do with the Cloud Gateway Max, it's almost a no-brainer to say, yeah, this is the device you should get, even if you were to buy it right now at the 279 price, not bad compared to the Cloud Gateway Ultra. I mean, 129, don't get me wrong, great price there, but for that extra 70 bucks, you get the full ecosystem that they have. Now, that's why I said I haven't finished my testing with it because I haven't set up the Protect. I haven't set up any of the other features in here that you have to connect, talk, and access that are all available on here. And this makes this a really good turnkey system for those looking to get into the Unify ecosystem without breaking the bank. Now let's dive into the technical differences and details here because the details really matter. The Unify Express I put on here because I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, I think at 149 with the built-in Wi-Fi, it's great. You're going to have to buy a Wi-Fi with the Cloud Gateway Max or the Cloud Gateway Ultra. And of course, because the controller is built into all of these units, you'll be able to easily adopt it. But that's where the details start to sway a little bit. The Cloud Gateway Max and Ultra both have the ability to have dual WAN. So even though you have four LAN ports, you can reassign one of those ports to be an extra WAN port. Failover is pretty important as the internet is very critical to a lot of people, especially remote workers. And redundant connections is a really good reason to upgrade to one of these units. Now the 129 versus 199, and yes, I know that's not going to be available till August, but that does get you quite a few upgrades with this Cloud Gateway Max, including four two and a half gig ports as opposed to just standard gigabit ports. Going down here a little bit, we see all the other specs are pretty much the same until we get down to the IDS IPS throughput being one and a half gig on the max, but only one gig max on the Cloud Gateway Ultra. So you get a little bit more processing power. Now, of course, what I'm curious about, and this will be my full test and review later, is when you start loading it up with things like Protect or any of the other features you start turning on, that may push this down a little bit. But 199 versus 129, I still feel like the Gateway Max is a really good deal and gets you into that Unify ecosystem with all the other Unify features at a really compelling price. Now, that doesn't mean the Cloud Gateway Ultra shouldn't exist because there's certainly some of you that may be an exception. Some people have bought fully into the full Unify ecosystem when it comes to their NVR. If you have the Unify NVR, you've already got the cameras, you've got everything set up. Why do you really need the Ultra? You can just go with the Max if you're going, well, I've this far into the ecosystem and I want to buy that. And if your plan is to buy a whole Unify kit, you want a lot of cameras, the UNVR is a better way to go. You're not going to get as many cameras on the Ultra. It's great for people who go, hey, I'd like a doorbell and maybe a camera at my front door or maybe something that looks in the backyard. But once you start getting into the Unify ecosystem, their NVRs are actually really nice for a much larger, more expanded camera system. And I will admit, once you've got one camera, you kind of end up going a little bit crazy with them and going, I can watch everything. And you kind of do. So do take that into consideration when you're buying it. But I, overall, I still think this new compact lineup really brings a a lot of accessibility to people who are looking to get into the Unify ecosystem, didn't want to go all out with one of their dream machines or one of the larger devices. People who are, well, a lot of home users, maybe some of the technical users. I know the really technical people have got the full 
ultra setups and some of the larger ones, but I'm talking about for what you might as a techno person recommend to friends and uh, this lineup really fits in there. Either way, love hearing from you. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Which choice would you make? Are you happy with just the Unify Express or are you among the people that left comments going, it's just not enough and only two ports and no WAN failover makes the Express something I can't recommend. I don't know. I always like different thoughts and different perspectives on this. Like and subscribe to see more content from my channel. Head over to forums, forums.lawrencesystem.com to have a more in-depth discussion on this and other topics. All right, and thanks. Thank you.